Yo guys, welcome back to King Owls. And yes, Taranji has beaten Canizales via majority decision. Um, great fight, first of all. Great, great, great fight. Really enjoyed that one. Um, people, loads of people saying robbery. Um, loads of people are saying robbery. Do I think Canizales won the fight? Yes, I think Canizales did win. I do think he did enough. Do I think it was a robbery? No. Uh, I don't think it was a robbery. It was fairly close. But I believe Canizales won the fight. I I scored that fight 114 to 112 to Canizales. Um, I think, uh, like, uh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it now, actually. Uh, if it's still, if I can find it. I should have found it before my um, scoring. Okay, here we go. So, round one, I gave to... Um, Taraji, uh, round two, I gave to Taraji, uh, 10 8. Then round three went to Canizales, got a knockdown to so 10 8. Um, round four, 10 9 Canza uh, Canizales. Round five, 10 9 Canizales. Round six, 10 9 Canizales. Round seven, 10 9 Canizales. Round seven was it round seven was actually fairly close not gonna lie uh both had some moments but no i think kenny zales definitely put the better work in, in that some round round eight i gave that one to taraji 10 9 round round nine 10 9 to kenny zales round 10 10 9 to kenny zales and round 11 and 12 10 9 to taraji but let's be real though in those last two rounds rounds uh, 11 and 12 Taraji, let's be real, he was actually kind of running from uh, from Canizales. He he was running. Uh, he was staying behind the jab and running. And unfortunately, in those last two rounds, Canizales wasn't able to cut. Uh, he wasn't able to cut off the ring in those last two rounds. It kind of looked like he kind of got a little bit tired in those last two rounds, Canizales. And then it just looked like Taraji was able to run away from him a bit and just stay behind the jab, and he was able to win those rounds. But no, I do think Kenny Zales won that fight, 114 to 112. But let's be real, like most of us um, do think that Kenny Zales won the fight. But Kenny Zales, in my opinion, needed to win that really, really convincingly on a points decision to be able to beat Taraji in Japan. And Kenny Zales didn't do that. It was a close fight. I think Kenny Zales won a close fight. And if Kenny Zales won a close fight. We should have knew it before going into the fight. If Canizales won a close, if we had Canizales winning a close decision, it wouldn't have been given to him. Simple as that. But no, it wasn't an all-out robbery or anything like that. No, it wasn't. It Canizales, I think, won, but it was a close fight. Taraji did not look the same going up to Taraji's performance. I don't think he looked the same as he usually does. Nowhere near as slick. And Taraji was getting hit way, way more often than than usual, to be honest with you. He, he just didn't really seem like the same usual boxer that he usually is. He was nowhere near as slick today. But yeah, I think Kenny Zales went into the fight with the right game plan, being the main aggressor and, you know, really going to the body as well. Kenny Zales threw some really good body shots today and some big shots up top as well, uh, Kenny Zales. He was really cutting the ring off well in so many of those rounds. And, you know, really giving Taraji a lot to worry about and a lot of damage as well, to be honest with you. Kenny Zales was doing a really good job. And Kenny Zales, he was learning the way more eye-catching shots throughout that whole fight. I can't really think of too many eye-catching shots that Taraji actually landed during that fight. Taraji, when Taraji was winning the rounds that he won... He was mostly just control, being able to control that fight behind the jab quite a bit. And, and, you know, and, and, you know, like, Shiraji was mixing it up a bit. But literally hardly any of his shots were actually doing much damage to Kenny Zales or really hurting him. None of Taraji's shots were doing any damage to Kenny Zales. Kenny Zales always kept on coming forward. But he, but uh, in a few rounds which Taraji won, yes, he was, you know, uh, landing the more... Uh, uh, more of the shots when Taraji won his rounds, but um, and you know in in the rounds he won, he was also doing defense. He was quite defensively minded as well. But no, when Kenny Zales was winning his rounds, Kenny Zales won the rounds that he won very convincingly, in my opinion.
Canizales was way more convincing in that fight than Taraji was, 100 bloody percent. In my opinion, none of the rounds that uh, that uh, that Canizales won, possibly apart from that seventh round, none of the rounds that Canizales won, uh, that, uh, Canizales won were swing rounds. A few rounds that Taraji won were swing rounds, in my opinion. They they were, uh, to be honest with you. Taraji was not the same. Uh, none of his shots had any effect on Kenny Zales whatsoever. He kept on coming forward, Kenny Zales, putting the pressure on, cutting the ring off, going to the body a lot, and, you know, backing uh, Taraji up into the corner quite a bit. And Kenny Zales was, you know, he was doing some good head headhunting today as well. Some massive shots up top, which, you know, definitely did damage Taraji. Both guys got knocked down. There weren't really like any proper significant damage where they really hurt each other, uh, where they really hurt each other with those knockdowns. Even though Taraji, when he dropped Kenny Zales, Ken Kenny Zales was kind of wobbling a bit and there was kind of a bit of a late reaction to the drop. Kenny Zales caught Taraji with a really big, uh, with a really quick shot, catching Taraji off guard when he got his knockdown. But yeah, overall, I think it was an absolutely fantastic fight, to be honest with you. And the fact that people are screaming robbery kind of just ruins it all, in my opinion. Yes, I believe Kenny Zales won, but it was closer than so many people are making out, and close fights can't be robberies. But look, let's just appreciate how great that fight was, and that's definitely up there already, in my opinion, for a contender for fight of the year. Surely that's probably going to be in the top five, 100%, surely, possibly even top three. That was an absolutely fantastic fight. A fantastic fight. It wasn't a robbery, but I feel like 100% if there was a winner, it was Kenny Zales. But again, there is that same way you have to beat the champion convincingly to be able to get the win, especially when it's in the champion's backyard as well, which it was for Taraji today. So, you know, like Taraji before the fight started was already about three rounds up anyway. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, let's be real. I think Kenny Zales won the fight, but... Those judges were always going to give it to Taraji if it was close. That's why I said, you know, Taraji was probably three rounds up coming into the fight anyway. Uh, but yeah, would I like to see a rematch? 100%. Will a rematch happen? I highly doubt it. But it was a great fight. Really enjoyed it. And yeah, good solid performance by Kenny Zales, in my opinion. Taraji looked sloppy, even though he won. But Kenny Zales came in with the right game plan. And, you know, Kenny Zales. Honestly, he had chances to. Ah, oh, Kenny Zales was looking good in that fight. He had, he was looking good. Taraji shots literally did nothing to Kenny Zales. He just outstruck him in the rounds that he won. Kenny Zales most a uh, lot of that fight. And in the rounds that Kenny Zales was winning, he was bashing Taraji around that ring. And it's not even an, an exaggeration. Kenny Zales was doing some solid work today. But yeah, I think he won, but it wasn't a robbery. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, King. I'll speak to you in a bit. Thanks for watching.